These are the craziest houses you'll ever see. But it's only once you step inside do you realize the secrets hidden behind the front door. Take this house. From the outside, you wouldn't think much of this sprawling Las Vegas property. From the dusty, unkept yard to the broken lamps, this place screams meth lab more than a multi-million dollar mansion. But buried 30 feet into the Nevada bedrock is a Cold War doomsday bunker built to survive the fallout of nuclear Armageddon. A quick trip down the world's slowest elevator and you're met with a subterranean time capsule still locked in the 1970s featuring multiple living areas, bedrooms, bathrooms, and a four-hole putting course. Oh, and just ignore the cryogenic tube that can store five human heads and four frozen bodies. Complete with a swimming pool and a working waterfall, this is one quirky house that you wouldn't expect walking past on street level. Forget the castle in the background, the real expensive residence is this tiny shed and connected garden. It might not look like much, but buried underneath this perfectly trimmed lawn is a $5 million subterranean mansion that would tempt any budding supervillain. From the opulent five-star finishes to the luxuriously high ceilings and natural light skylights, it's easy to forget you're buried underground. And if winding staircases aren't your thing, there's always the auto elevator that can deliver your supercar back to ground level. Every kid grows up wanting his very own bat cave, like this underground garage fit for a fleet of supercars, all hidden under your very own mansion. What do you do if you want a mountain villa retreat but live in the middle of the city? Do what this guy did and secretly build your own rooftop oasis on top of a skyscraper. It took nearly six years of sneaking building materials up the main elevator and painfully building the faux mountain rock by rock. But the secret rooftop mansion was finally complete. He would have gotten away with it as well had it not been for the residents below him complaining of falling building materials and cracks in their apartments. If you see a crane hovering above an empty lot, most people assume a new building's going up. Well, on this Dutch property, the crane is the building, and it's been converted into a permanent luxury apartment high above the skyline. With amazing views, five-star amenities, and a working office with a killer backdrop, the only downside is all those stairs. Sick of paying rent? This clever artist took advantage of a void under a bridge and decided he could hide a home in plain sight. Using some innovative construction and a simple wheel system, he winds his platform across to a table and chair already bolted to the concrete of the bridge. This home, built out of nothing, definitely wins this year's National Hide and Seek competition. Most people can't wait to get off an airplane when it lands, but Bruce Campbell calls this decommissioned Boeing 727 home 365 days a year. Yeah, that's a full plane you're looking at resting in the middle of a small forest. Bruce's home is connected to electricity, to a phone line, Wi-Fi, and even a water supply, allowing him to take as many showers as he wants from the comfort of his very own living room. With everything you could possibly need at one man's disposal, that's what I call peaceful living. Penthouses are usually reserved for the top floor of a building, and India's Kingfisher Kingpin made sure he had the best views in all of Bangalore. Perched on top of Kingfisher Tower, this palatial mansion comes complete with an Olympic-sized swimming pool, sprawling green lawns, and even a helipad on the roof. The only problem? Getting an Uber Eats driver to deliver to your front door. Same mobile home and people automatically think RV. And technically, I guess that's what we're looking at here. Glenn Bunsen took the meaning of tiny home to the extreme, propping his minuscule domicile onto four caster wheels so he can take his house with him wherever he goes. I have lots of time now because my house is always with me. Just don't tell him what everyone's thinking. You just built a coffin on wheels, bro. Tucked away into the mountainside in Rock Ridge, Ohio, this cave mansion is unlike any house you've ever seen. Rather than carving out a space, architects built into a recessed cave and created 1,500 square feet of opulent living space. I don't want to say bat cave, but one look and Christian Bale did this. And yes, you can rent this bad boy out on Airbnb. If there's anyone who should never throw stones, it's the owner of this house. The glass house in Suginami, Japan, is built predominantly out of 
You guessed it, glass. For those who have no shame, sense of privacy, or just enjoy voyeurism on the whole, this residency offers unfiltered 24-7 access to everything you do. I'd be investing in curtains though, a lot of them. This might look like your average farmhouse, but with a click of a remote, it channels its inner Optimus Prime and transforms into a fully functional hangar door, complete with a hidden garage and man cave. If you want to spend the night feeling like you're in a cryogenic stasis pod from the future, you're in luck. These sleek pods could easily be the latest modules on the International Space Station. But inside, you'll find a well-designed two-bedroom, one-bathroom apartment that comfortably fits four people, surrounded on all sides and ceiling by massive glass windows. You can take in your surroundings or pull the curtain, hit the cryo switch, and go to sleep for 10 to 15 years. When you hate door knockers and uninvited guests, this is the ultimate in introverted living. Wrapped in a mirrored facade, this house can disappear into the surroundings at just the right angle. But step inside and you're treated to a long, opulent apartment that can entertain up to 10 people. You just have to keep reminding yourself that you can see out, but no one can see in. Not that there's anyone for miles. With the cost of affordable housing skyrocketing across the globe, some people go to extreme measures to put a roof over their head. Like Harrison Marshall, who retrofitted an actual dumpster to be his low-cost tiny home. Once thoroughly disinfected, Harrison managed to install a tiny kitchen, bedroom, and loads of storage. There's no toilet or shower, though. Harrison has to rely on a port loo and a gym membership. What's the best way to make sure you have 300-degree, unobstructed views of your surroundings? Prop your house on a giant rotating motor and you got yourself a spinning house. Want the morning sun to hit your living room? Just rotate the house 90 degrees to the right. Luckily, it's not set to constantly spin or the residents would be dizzy 24-7. We all know zombies can't swim, right? Well, that was the thinking when designing this moat-surrounded palace in the middle of Miami. Accessible only by a single road in and out, and surrounded by five acres of water, this residency combines a medieval defense system with the results of having way too much money. It's even more impressive when you consider the piece of land that started off as a disused tomato field before being transformed into this lush wonderland. If you're afraid of deep, dark waters, you might want to hold your breath and look away. Located 22 feet below the surface of a Florida lagoon is this quirky underwater residency. The only way in and out is via scuba in this wet hatch, making unannounced guests a thing of the past. You can spend your hours staring at the marine life through the 42-inch porthole windows or praying to God that the leak in the ceiling doesn't get any bigger. Looking suspiciously like a modern hobbit house, this bunker home in England's westernmost tip has an interesting history. Built in World War II as a secret radar and communications post, it was a first line of defense against potential attacks. Now it's a four-bedroom home that can withstand bombings and mortar rounds from offshore. Not that it's relevant now, but it's a good feature to have. Have you ever wanted to combine your living situation with the constant fear of falling to your death? If so, the Sky Lodge Adventure Suites in Cusco, Peru might just be up your alley. Perched 2,900 meters above the ground on the side of a mountain, these are quite possibly the most dangerous apartments on the planet. Access is via climbing rings and ladders, so not only will you need a harness and gear to get home for the night, if you weigh more than 120 kilograms, you're a safety risk to everyone else. They say it's bad to lead a sheltered life, but what if you live in a literal bubble? Besides the constant fear of popping, residents of these eco-bubbles enjoy a unique semi-panoramic view of the French countryside from the master bedroom. They're sleek, modern, and feel like you're sleeping in a giant Zorb ball. When you're sick of the long ride to the skate park, do what these guys did and convert your entire house into an indoor skate arena. From curved walls to furniture you can grind on, this is one house where mom can't tell you to take it outside. Now, before you start calling the History Channel and the 6 o'clock news, this alien craft is just a replica, or so the owner of this downed spacecraft will have you believe. The Futuro House was built by a Finnish architect back in the 60s, and for 350 bucks a night, you can act out your alien abduction fantasies for real. Unfortunately, you can't be beamed up into this extraterrestrial bed and breakfast, you'll have to take the stairs. 
This caravan is taking outdoor recreation to new heights. Built up on industrial strength scissor lifts, this renovated caravan can always guarantee the best views in the campground. The more money you have, the more likely it is that people could be out to get you. That's why you see buildings like this, the world's safest mansion. Utilizing a next-generation security system, owners are alerted and protected the second an intruder steps on the property. Then there's the 650-pound doors that are bulletproof, blastproof, and are secured by five separate bolts. There's even a system that uses tactical fog to blind and disorient unwanted guests. Someone really doesn't like door-to-door -door salesmen. This is what I call a practical use of available real estate, perched on either side of the bridge. These tiny homes are as much a full-time residency as they are a tourist attraction. I guess living on top of a bridge is a whole lot better than living under one. The neighbors must be better too. Did you have a treehouse as a kid? Not to flex, but check out this one. Situated in a pod of similar houses, you can take the stairs or unleash your inner kid and take the four-story slippery slide. All it's missing is a string and can intercom system. What's the least subtle way to tell your friends and family that you're an alcoholic? Cover your entire home in aluminum beer cans. John Martin Milkovich loved a beer, part three, and rather than let the cans go to waste, he would cut up each one and decorate a different part of his house with it. He used every piece of the beer can. He never threw any of it away. The result? A massive homage to cirrhosis.